everybody, Bird Gutter here, and we are here with another Top 5 on Netflix. Top 5. So let's just get started with number 5. 5. Number 5 is Conan the Destroyer. Conan. I would much prefer it to be Conan the Barbarian. It would be higher on the list, but it's not, so. Oh, whatever. Who fucking cares? You know, it's the sequel to Conan, basically Arnold running around in a loincloth again. Yeah, basically. And he had fucking, uh, what was his name? Bunkar, or Bubbar, or whatever the fuck. Whatever. Well, he was Wilt Chamberlain. Yeah, and then wasn't, was Grace Jones in this one? I think so. And was fucking, what's her name? All I can think about when I hear Grace Jones is, pussy, pussy, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but what about, what's his, what's her name? From, you know, Red Sonia. Was oh, she in this one? You mean, uh... No, she wasn't no, in this. She, she yeah. wasn't in any of them. Yeah, well, she, she was in she Red, Red Sonia. That's all she had. Arnold burned, uh, burned everything. <laughs> Even his career. But yeah, so basically barbarian stuff, big sword swinging, magic yeah. and sorcery, blah, blah, blah fucking, blah, fucking blah. blah. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's all right. It's good, though. It's good. I mean, yeah, we watch it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So on the note of... <laughs> Moving on to number four! Four. Number four is The Great Outdoors. John jo Candy yeah. and, and... Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd. John Candy wants to take his family out on a vacation and stuff. And Dan Aykroyd ruins it. Because isn't he his brother-in-law? <laughs> yeah. Like his rich brother-in-law <coughs> or his snobby brother-in-law? Something along those lines. His fake Rich brother, fake. Oh, well, he's he's, he's his real brother-in-law, but he's like yeah, fake, fake, rich. fake rich. Yeah, yeah, but we don't want to give that any too much. Of yeah, that. but anyway, I like the bear scene. That one was always my favorite. <laughs> at the cabin, you know. <laughs> yeah, or like them all kissing on the old guy, and he's like, "Oh yeah, he's been dead for a while now." And he's like, eh. or the fucking when he was eating the steak. Yeah, but and anyway, the fat. <laughs> He's like, no, no. See, that's a pretty funny comedy. Per good, per yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of vacation -y type things. Beaches and cabins. When and, you, you think know. Cla classic comedies from like the 80s around that time, you know, you think Great Outdoors is one of it's them. It's one of them, yeah. yeah. Moving on. Moving on to number three. Three. Number three is Cheech and Chong's next movie. Awesome. The one that, you know, Cheech played his own cousin Red. <laughs> and Pee Wee Herman was in it. Yeah. I love that shit. When, uh, he Wasn't he all in, like, the loony? He, yeah. was in, he was in two different ones. He was, yeah, a, he was, he was the waiter in one or whatever, one, and then he this, was in the no, mental one He was, like, the hotel uh, attendant guy. Yeah. And he came out, and the cops, like, grabs onto me. He's like, he pushes the first time I heard Pee Wee Herman swear. He's like, get off me, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I was like, yeah, go Pee Wee. Why did he do that in The Big Adventure, you know? Oh. Whenever uh, the fat kid came up and was like, I want your bike, Pee Wee. He was like, get off, you fucking asshole. And I punched him with his gut or something. That would have been a whole new twist to yeah. Pee Wee. So what's the basic deal <laughs> with next movie? Next movie? Oh, I'll His cousin yeah, Red yeah. comes over. And, and yeah, they work, I guess they work at a studio or some shit. And Chong, he just rolls joints, you know, and does what, what Chong does, you know. And fucking Cheech, you know. He, I guess he worked at this movie studio or some shit. And uh, kept still in their neighbor's car and shit. <laughs> but yeah, then the cousin comes over and he goes on his Red. whole yeah. fuck. They go on this whole fucking thing where they go to this rich people's house. And... I know they just crash right in. That yeah. lady was a little crazy and shit. Oh, I remember her from what, Ferris Bueller. She played mm -hmm. the secretary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grace, <laughs> Grace. Yeah, dude, that, that was that was funny. I liked that because remember, yeah. uh, fucking Chung went up in space. Yeah, you know, and he got, got, got space coke. <laughs> Oh, that was a good one. Just thinking about it makes me laugh. We won't have to watch that one again. So, moving on to number two. Number two. Ooh. Number two is Death Becomes Her. Oh. I loved this movie when I was younger. Hard time watching it nowadays because I hate Bruce, Bruce fucking Willis. Willis. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce Willis, you know, it's it's hard to like him now because of his... He's such a fucking, fucking douche. He's a dick. Yeah. His attitude sucks. He's an ass. Yeah. My attitude sucks. And I'm an ass. But I'm not famous. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, this movie is about Meryl Streep and um, Goldie Hawn, right? Yeah, basically, the, like, they're like friends, I uh, guess. Kind they, of, yeah. You know, they, like, rival but against rivals, each other. Yeah. But they, neither one of them wants to get old because they're getting old. And Bruce yeah. Willis is Meryl Streep's pussy-ass husband. He's a funeral director, <laughs> right? Or a mortician. No, a mortician. But anyway, yeah. they... Meryl Streep and Goldie Hawn both end up going to um, this mystical chick's mansion and getting some kind of 
this potion. Ooh, she was hot, dude. Yeah. Every time she kept taking off that thing, and you were like, Whoa. But they end up taking this potion, and then there's a plot, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to say it. Yeah. <laughs> but we have, we have to say that they end up dying. Yeah. Because it's all through the trailer and everything else. But they end up they dying. Do. But they're still alive because of this potion. potion and yeah. Bruce Willis has to keep working on them to keep them looking not dead. I like when they handed him the drink to try to put him down. And he's sitting there, like, swinging around. The fucking shit's floating everywhere. This was was a good, it was a good fucking movie. That was a good movie, yeah. So anyway, on that note, moving on to number one. Oh, no. Number one is Dexter. Yeah, Dexter. A, a great Showtime show. You watched it more than I did. Yeah, but you don't have a choice on this one, so. <laughs> I don't get it. But you saw enough about it to understand the premise. Oh, yeah, I know he was a crazy son. Yeah, there's this serial killer that was trained by his cop, foster, father, whatever, to kill bad guys. So that's basically what the whole thing's about. Dexter works for the cops, but he goes around at night killing bad, bad guys. guys. You know, I guess is not too Yeah, bad. It's, but it's a really cool show. <laughs> lots of, like, drama and lots of gore and a decent amount of nudity and all kinds of awesome guest stars. Well, like, Jimmy Smits was in it. Yeah. Um, Lithgow the, the was in it. The best thing about Dexter is they did it right. They ended it right. No, they didn't. Oh, they didn't? No. I, thought, I, I hated oh, the Breaking ending. Oh, Breaking Bad. Of, yeah, the Breaking one Bad, they ended right. 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 Dexter, fuck the ending of Dexter. But it doesn't matter because not all the episodes are on Netflix anyway, just like the first four seasons. But yeah. the Jimmy Smith season and the John Lithgow season, well worth the fucking watch. <laughs> A number one. That's basically it. Yeah. So for Bird and Gutter, we'll see you next week. Yep. Muzzle tough. <laughs> Muzzle tough. <laughs> hey everybody, Bird and Gutter here. We're here with another top five on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Hey everybody, Bird Gunner here, and we're here with another top five on Netflix. Fuck you. Top five on Netflix. And this week, number five is... What? I don't know. What do you got down? Oh, none of your fucking business. God, if your wife wasn't up now, she'd up after that. I mean, uh, I never really was, like, too attracted to the Goldie Hawn, though. She's just kind of weird looking. You know, but Meryl Streep, though, she was kind of hot back in the day.